Hello! Today I'm going to show you three simple exercises that you can do from face yoga that will help if you're suffering from Bell's palsy. It's really common when people have Bell's palsy for them to have asymmetry in one side of the face and for the muscles in one side of the face to be really tight, really stiff and really taut. And with that tightness and that stiffness also comes a weakness. So what we want to try to do is look at the common areas where there would be asymmetry and try to rebalance them. Today we're going to focus on the mouth first. So one thing that I see with my clients is when they have Bell's palsy, often what happens is they can smile on one side and the other side droops down like this. And there can be variations of that along a sliding scale. So one of the things that we can do is work with the X and O pose in a slightly different way that you will see me demo it normally. Traditionally, the X and O pose works like this very fast. XO, 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 XO. So we're working in really fast twitch muscle reactions. This isn't appropriate when you're working with Bell's palsy because we're trying to hone in on the specific areas where the muscles aren't working as well as they could be and try to ignite those neural pathways again. So get the nerves firing so that when you want your body to do something specific, it does what you're asking it to do. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the X part of the exercise and we're going to take it in the most exaggerated X we can. So this is what it would look like if it was balanced. But let's just pretend that this side of the face is the side of the face that is drooping. What we might see is this. So all you're going to do is get your fingers and press them into the area that isn't working and drag it up so that there's balance and symmetry. So it's going to look like this. And even if you have to get one, two or three fingers to drag that side of the face up to make that balance, that's okay. For now, we want that feedback reaction and we want to retrain to guide the muscles back into the place that we want them to be when we do this shape with our mouth. So we've made that shape, we've guided it back up and then I want you to press the muscle that's underneath the place where your fingers are into the fingers as much as you can. If you can't feel that connection point just yet, don't worry. Just bring your attention to the place that you're pressing into. Think into that place and imagine pressing in. Just that simple thing of bringing your attention to the place and thinking down to it will start to build that connection back into the facial nerves. So we're here, we're pressing into this place and we're gonna breathe nice and slow. Shoulders are relaxed. And then we're going to release and we're going to massage out around the area. So we're going to bring softness back into the areas which might have brought some tension in just because we were concentrating and because we're working those muscles hard. So always bringing a nice deep massage back in. And you can even do some little micro pinching in that area to bring the circulation back in. OK, so we're going to do that again. I'm going to take the exaggerated smile. We're going to take the area that hasn't come up to the side that we that is our traditional side. Bring it up to balance it, match it. Use as many fingers as you need to. Ignite the muscle that's underneath the fingers and press it into the fingers. From there, soften the rest of the face as much as you can and then three big breaths. And release. And then we're gonna massage out that area again. And again, some little micro pinching into the area. So we always complete each exercise three times. And the third time we're gonna do it slightly differently. So we're gonna make the X, the shape of the X, bring it back up to match. And then this time, if you can, you're gonna take little pulses. So you're using those muscles there to pulse into your fingers. You can see the muscles making my fingers move. So from here, don't worry if only one side is working today. We're going to keep practicing and little by little, the muscles will learn or relearn what we want them to do. So nice three breaths now while pulsing. And release, massaging again. and then micro pinching. Okay, so the second part is the O. So the O is gonna be like this. 
Sometimes, if this side of the face isn't working as well as we want it to, what you'll see is this. And this side will stay loose over here. So what we're going to do again is use our hand to help guide the muscles into the place we want them to go. So if we had this, we're just going to scoop and lift, bring it into the place we want, and then we're going to push the lips as far forwards as we can. We're going to stay in this O shape, trying to tighten all the muscles around here. So really working to tighten them and press them forwards. And you're going to breathe. And then release, and with this time we're going to do little waterfall fingers around the edges. Okay, so again, pressing forwards, scooping and lifting so that you find symmetry, pressing the lips as far forwards as you can, and from here, breathing three times. And release some waterfall fingers around the area. So anything we can do to bring circulation and lymphatic, lymphatic drainage to the area is really going to be helpful to get that tissue working and getting it really nice and soft and supple again after having been in spasm. Okay, then the last time, making the O, pressing it forwards and up, finding the symmetry, relaxing the shoulders and breathing here. And release and waterfall fingers around the area. Okay, well done. So the second exercise we're going to do is a version of the puff, puffer fish exercise, but we're going to adapt it to make it more suitable for faces that aren't working exactly as we want them to at this particular minute. So traditionally what we would do is fill the cheeks with air like this. And then we would place a finger on the lips and press the lips into the finger. So it would look like this. Now there's equal and opposite force from fingers to lips. What you might see is that one cheek fills with air and this one stays empty. Or there might be areas of this one that stay empty. We're going to use the same theory that we did on the last exercise. So in the areas that we see there's emptiness, we're going to press our fingers into those areas. We're going to try to push the muscle in to meet the fingers. And sometimes just having that feedback of the hand on your face is enough to ignite those muscles. Sometimes you're going to feel a little twitch of ignition. And that's great. If we feel a little bit of something, that's building the neural pathways. And don't worry if you don't feel it the first time. It might take a bunch of times trying before we start to regain our trust in our muscles and re-understand the proprioception of the way that our face is working now. So let's take a deep breath in through our nose, fill the cheeks with air as much as we can, find the areas that aren't as full, press into them, and then we're going to put all of our fingers, so three across the lips, because there might be one side of the lips that aren't able to push forward. And we're just going to breathe here. And release and then we're just going to tap across the face nice and gently so again just bringing fresh circulation to the area loosening out the muscles keeping them nice and warm and then we're going to try again so deep breath in fill the cheek with air find the area that's not full press into it press into the lips And release and tapping again. So remember when you're pressing on the lips it's really important that the lips push into the fingers and the fingers push back into the lips. Okay last time. All right. Sitting up nice and tall taking a deep breath in, fill the cheeks with air, find the areas, put your fingers onto them and then press the lips and the fingers together.
and release just do a little water pull fingers and loose the lips Okay, so the last one that we're going to focus on is the nose area. Sometimes if this side of the face has been in spasm, you can almost feel like at night time that this side of the nose is collapsing in on yourself or that it's really tight and it's pulling. One of those two things can happen and it can obstruct the nasal passageway so that it feels that you can't get the breath in really clearly. This is a really simple exercise that you can do that will help to open those passageways, open the sinuses and also soften and loosen out the tissues that might be in spasm around the nose. So this one, we're going to take the knuckles of the fingers and we're going to glide up towards the bridge of the nose, nice and smoothly, gliding up all the way up to the bridge of the nose and starting from the top again. So we'll go four times. Each time we come down a little bit, get to the very edge, you won't be able to breathe through your nose for a second and we start back at the top again. So nice, smooth, massaging knuckles, even up through the cartilage points at the end. And then we do the opposite. We start at the top and we drag it out. And there's a little twist of the knuckles as we drag out sideways here. And we come to the very bottom, we'll twist and flick. So coming down, little twist, little twist. Last one, big twist and flick. So two more times. Little twist, little twist, little twist and big flick. And last time. And then take a deep breath in through both nostrils and feel how much more open the nasal passageways are now. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to work with me or if you have specific ailments or areas of your face that you need to work on, you can find me on Instagram at Face Yoga with Lydia and you can direct message me and I'll be happy to work with your queries. Bye.